shoot an intro for this on the river but I had an audio issue so she was all screwed up and bugging and so hence why I'm doing it now. All I did in that intro was explain that I was fishing a single hand rod with a Skagit head, 225 grain Skagit head and uh, it was the first time I'd fished a 7.5 foot tip. Well, up until then I'd been using tips that are kind of far too long for single hand rods. Anyway I got myself a shorter tip and I uh, had some good fun. Yeah so here's the rest of the video. I didn't plan on coming up here at all, I just w went to have a little play with the rod as I first crossed the river and I saw a fish and so I walked up a little further, saw another fish and this, this run down here is actually full of fish. It gets a lot of pressure from anglers but I'm going to swing down it anyway because it looks like fun. This is the fly, uh, you see it's a little bit skinny and a little bit long. Every time I fish, I've caught fish on it but every time I fish it I'm a little bit like that's eh, a bit skinny and a bit long but screw it I'm gonna change it so away we go this is my version of the same thing you see it looks a bit more like a mess but when it's wet it's got a little more volume to it so I'm gonna race down this first part it could be fish on this inside edge through the Sun but I can see pretty good into there so I'm not really so in case I didn't say it at the start, this is OPS tip. Wow, that is really loud. We're scaring all the fish away. OPS T 60 grain, 7.5 foot bucket. It's on a 225 grain commando head. It's on a 40 pound laser line. And the rod is a five weight cross S1, mid curve, mid fast. I got a little excited early on in the early on so I may not have taken the time to actually properly explain what I was using. Come on fishy fishy! Oop. I think that was a fishy fishy. I can't believe that happened. Just as I stepped forward a fishy grabbed and I ruined it. I think I can see one at the end of my line now there's a dappled piece of sunlight I'm pretty sure I can see one on there. Oh, yep. Tug. Eat it. Eat it. Just going to do a really slow retrieve. I can see like four fish right beside me and they're good fish too. Part of me really wants to nymph for him. I'm pretty sure I could catch him nymphing. So I've taken a few steps now just so I can cast in behind that that log, uh, that, that branch there. Fish. Oh, come on! Why don't these flies stick? Man, that's annoying. Oh, what? That was a good fish. Come on. I mean, it's got a hook. It feels sharp. It's hurting me. So I've hooked three fish, I've touched three fish, four fish, three fish, four fish, three or four fish, in like less, far less than 100 metres.
follow, 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 eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. Oh, God damn it. Oh, come on. It's five. Holy shit, I just caught one right here. What the hell is wrong with me? That's six fish. Oh, well that was an absolutely terrible ratio. I hooked five, maybe six fish. I think I got five on camera. I think I missed another one. I changed flies a couple times. Uh, all intruder flies. There's like four fish right in front of me. Nymphable fish, not really swingable. I was going to fish all the way to the bottom and then nymph back up through what I did. And There's a fish right there. There's fish everywhere. I'm going to go catch them. Right, I'm landing this fish. If it's the last thing I ever do. It's actually a fairly big fish. I'm totally gonna lose this. There's no way this is gonna work out for me. Huh, I got him. So, quite a bit, but it's kind of a spawny fish. He's up in the shallows. Uh, but I'm getting desperate. Like another five right here, I'm definitely gonna hook one of these. Watch this. There we go. Got him. Hey, whoa. It's a nice looking smaller fish. But uh Okay, so we're two and twenty seconds. Three. Three and thirty seconds. Dude, get out from under there. Dude. Let the pheasant tail. Alright. See you later, buddy. Alright, so that, that was three fish in 30 seconds. They are kind of an easier target, but I was getting desperate after losing eight fish. Uh, but I'll leave them alone now and um, go find some proper fish. Fish. Boom. Love it. Oh, don't go slack. It's only small, but he's fresh. Strong. Really nice. Little hen. Nice clear water release. Beautiful fish. fish I missed six on the swing and then I missed another couple nymphing that weren't in the video because I didn't have the GoPro rolling landed a couple of fish not very good fish L landed one really nice fish at the end of the day but I, again I didn't have the GoPro rolling and I tried to film it on this camera but I don't know what happened to the clip it just wasn't there so obviously I didn't push record statistics caught up on me I lost a lot of fish hopefully that doesn't happen I should have a run now where I catch a bunch of fish without dropping them I'm hoping well, it's good to have days like that every once in a while it reminds you keeps you humble I suppose but I got my ass kicked I lost two fish while the drone was in the air I lost I just kept losing fish I just could not keep them on it's crazy but anyway I really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did leave a like leave me a comment of what you'd like to see in the future and uh, I'll catch all of you guys in the next video peace
Thank you.